Okay, everybody, welcome back to another rapid response video. And this comment is from John who says, what do you consider the funniest thing to happen in a DC story? For me, it's in Batman the Animated Series when Killer Croc is telling the other Batman villains how he almost killed Batman. And they all look at him annoyed when he ends the story with, I threw a rock at him. So that is a fantastic episode and genuinely gets a laugh out of everybody. That is a very funny moment and it really just paints a picture of how dumb Killer Croc might be. But also the story has a satisfying ending with the fact that it ends up being Batman and also this idea that Batman is completely knowledgeable with his villains. Now, the funniest thing to happen in a DC story, there is genuinely genuinely so many to choose from. If you want to look at some of the weirdest, craziest, funniest things, all you have to do is look at the 50s. And the biggest reason for this is because they truly did not know what they wanted these comic book characters to be, what the purpose of them truly was other than fighting bad guys, to the point where they would do some of the craziest outlandish things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple of things that particularly stand out to me. So the first one I have to mention, and this is one of the craziest things I think I have ever seen Batman do. Genuinely, I laughed out loud when I first read this. I laughed so hard I had to put the comic book down and leave it alone for about a half an hour before I continued the issue. It is Batman's second run-in with Prometheus in JLA issue number 37. I remember this clear as day. He finds a way to immobilize Prometheus's helmet, in which this moment Batman gave Prometheus ALS or motor neuron disease, completely making his body dis functional. And it is the next panel that absolutely gets me. It is the Professor Stephen Hawking that he yells as he clocks Prometheus across the jaw, leaving him unconscious on the ground. Batman may not be a killer, but he has no problem leaving your entire body near paralyzed. Another funny, weird, strange thing is actually from the Death of Superman comic when he dies to Doomsday. This is such an important story within the mythos of DC and for audiences like us, the readers and people who love DC. How However, there is a lot of things that happen in this issue that many people, for whatever reason, never talk about. It never made it into the zeitgeist. Nobody remembers this, or at least it feels like nobody does. At this point in time, Lex Luthor actually faked his own death and pretended to be his own son from Australia, in which returning is dating Supergirl, which actually at the time was not actually Superman's cousin, but some random alien from a different dimension in the multiverse. When fighting Doomsday to help Superman, Doomsday completely punches the skin off of Supergirl, in fact killing her, I believe. It is a overly weird and strange moment in a comic book, a story that is so impactful to our generations that we just have to choose to ignore this. But unfortunately, you can't ignore it now as I just taught you about this moment or reminded you about it. Another extremely rare and hilarious moment I've never been able to forget as I read this as a kid was when Captain Boomerang literally became a human boomerang and tried throwing himself at the Flash. This is in the Silver Age of comic books where things still tend to be weird, and Captain Boomerang arced his body in the form of a boomerang and started spinning in the air, 360-ing towards and around the Flash. And yes, his body does obey the principles of a boomerang. Where he begins spinning is where his body will return. Another genuinely funny moment and 100% definitely petty in All-Star Batman, Batman and Robin literally took the time to paint an entire room, including themselves, yellow, just to get under the skin 
of Green Lantern. That version of Batman is 100% a prick, but you definitely cannot deny his determination. How about the time in the Golden Age when Batman first meets Selina Kyle and literally says to her, quit or Papa Spank. At this point in time, he threatened a woman he barely knew to stop misbehaving or he was going to give her a spanking like a five-year-old child. Today, this would have a much more kinky connotation, but 50, 60, 70 years ago, this was definitely taken within the terms of being daddy's rules. There was one point in time, Riddler, Penguin, and the Joker turned Batman into a Bat Hulk, an oversized Goliath, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde type of a situation. He was exposed to unusual toxins, and not even just the fact that it made him super huge, he also gained the ability to melt things with the touch of his hands. Very strange. Once again, in the Golden and Silver Age, Kryptonite did different things than they do today. Different colors, that is. So particularly red, it sent Superboy on a journey through time, in which he finds himself in ancient Egypt. And while he's there, the ancient Egyptians are working on the pyramids. He then ends up finding out that there is no Sphinx being built or created around the pyramids yet, and it turns out that it was predestined. What happens is a lion, I believe, bites Superboy and it turns him into a lion-like creature in which then the Egyptian people decide to now create the Sphinx and as Superboy continues to travel forward in time he gets to see the construction of the Sphinx in which now I guess in this universe we could say the Sphinx is technically Superboy. Now last but certainly not least because there are so many more where this comes from it is a Justice League versus Predator crossover. And at one point in the issue, there is a town that's getting attacked by Predator fighter jets. And what does Plastic Man do? He flat out turns himself into a form of a jet and starts flying around chasing the Predator jets trying to take them down. Because, I mean, at this point, why the hell not? I think what absolutely kills me looking at this photo is the fact that the tip of the jet still has Plastic Man's teeth and he has a little rat tail of hair at the center of his head. So there you go, guys. There's just a couple of examples of the funniest, weirdest, strangest things to happen in DC Comics. Like I said, there are so many others to talk about. So John, thank you for the comment, and everyone else, make sure to comment below some of your funniest moments you remember happening anywhere in the DC Universe. But that is all I have for you on this one, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.